Okay, great question came in today. Will my Christmas tree affect the feng shui of my home? Um, not really, but <laughs> but it could. But let me explain a bit more about what this Christmas tree means to you in your home. So metaphysically, we look at the elements and everything is related to an element. So a Christmas tree is a tree. So it is a wood element, but it's also generally green. It's a wood element. But you might have bought a Christmas tree that's white, right, or gold. And it's also a tree is traditionally a triangular shape. And that's fire. Um, so this is a, there's a lot going on. So what I want to say is people who are interested in feng shui look to where they would need wood and fire in their energy chart in their home and place the tree there. But here's my thing. What if, what if I've worked on your home and the area that I've said to you um, that you should, you know, needs wood and fire is your uh, bathroom, uh, your laundry room, your closet. I mean, come on, are you going to put the Christmas tree in there? No, you're not. You're not. So I want you to just calm down and take this with a pinch of salt. OK, I put my Christmas tree where I want to spend time. I do not put it where I need a burst of fire or wood or something. I do different things in my home for that. So if you're concerned about this and you think, well, what if I'm doing the wrong thing? And Sam says it's fine, but oh, my God, I'm still nervous. Easy. Create an elementally smooth circle. All that means is. If you've got a Christmas tree that's kind of a triangular shape, you've already got fire. If it's a green tree, you've already got wood. Put underneath the tree, put square presents. Probably going to do that anyway, because that's earth element. Put some round gold, silver, metallic balls on the tree. That's a metal element. Put some, um, maybe some beautiful ribbon, blue or silver or black if you can. That's a water element, especially if you curve it around the tree. If you create a smooth cycle of water, wood, fire, earth, metal, back to water, everything's in harmony. And you don't have to worry about where the Christmas tree is or celebrate in the closet, right? It's just not practical. So my biggest tip here is please remember that <laughs> feng shui should be logical and it should fit the space. You should never be doing anything that makes the space look weird or makes you feel weird. It should feel natural. So go ahead and put the Christmas tree wherever you want to put your Christmas tree and enjoy.